create fairness and justice. We talked about that on Friday. And Fox News apparently was very interested in that, and they quoted uh, one of the sentences that I said. I said that uh, we needed to recognize if we were going to address all this structural inequality, structural racism, we would actually have to do things differently. And so here's the quote from uh, Fox News summarizing. They said, NYC mayor sees the redistribution of wealth as an important factor toward ending structural racism education. I'm going to say it one more time in case Fox News is watching again. NYC mayor sees the redistribution of wealth as an important factor towards ending structural racism in education. Exactly right. I don't get to say it very often, but Fox News got it exactly right. Amen. We are going to fight structural racism through redistribution. So Fox News, congratulations. Fair and balanced coverage right there. Wow. Um, you know, sometimes when you have a dog, they like to roll around in their own crap, poop, feces. And that intro video, for some reason, in my opinion, is the perfect representation of that. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Zukadowski of We Are Changed. There are a lot of important issues to get into today, especially with the alleged news of a wild new strain of the sickness going around that has some scientists saying, quote, show us the evidence. All the while, we just had another shocking admission by the World Health Organization regarding testing. All of this as your proud owners, sorry, sorry, representatives just gave you a check for $600 in the same piece of legislation that just rewarded Bill Gates billions of dollars. Yes, just when you thought it couldn't get more absurd, more ridiculous, more in your face, here we are today. Now, the intro video of pathetic mayor, lover of communism, Bill de Blasio, was ridiculous, but not to be outdone, one of the most richest members of Congress and the world, worth over $100 million, just came out and said that the, quote, $600 you're going to be getting is, quote, substantial. Who would have thought the communists can't even communist well? <laughs> And of course, for many Americans, this is yet another rude awakening and acknowledgement of what government is, especially when it promises you the world and it just gives you 600 bucks. This is all according to, of course, a new $900 billion Conholio Cygnus relief package that absolutely is just yet another example of what a disgrace our quote representatives are and again just like most money coming out of the devilish dens of congress most of it will of course go to special interests as of course if you would give 600 dollars to 300 million americans that would just amount to 180 billion dollars not the total 900 billion dollars <laughs> that the stimulus bill entails we need to remind people here because a lot of people lack basic math f functions and need to be reminded that 80 percent of the stimulus money is going to other places and of course a lot of americans are left asking what the hell? <laughs> Just like this moment in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which I believe perfectly represents this moment that we were all in. Especially with the insult to injury because it is many of these bureaucrats that brought tremendous amounts of human suffering to the average person, not because of the sickness, but because of their made-up decrees, lockdowns, and shutdowns, which they literally just made up, and in many instances were caught not even being backed by science. The New York thugs that call themselves politicians, like the governor and mayor, have been the most egregious abusers of the population, not only sending elderly nursing home patients that were sick to nursing homes, which spread the sickness like fire, but more specifically, shutting down businesses while calling for more bailouts. Especially New York Goomba Mayor Andrew Cuomo that specifically is in charge of shutting down restaurants in New York City. Meanwhile, he recently had the gall 
to ask for a bailout for restaurants which he shut down. Now, who's going to pay for these bailouts? Is it is it going to be Andrew Cuomo? No, it's going to be you with, of course, higher taxes. Now, you finally get a big sense and understanding of this, quote, wealth distribution that is literally happening right now as we are going through one of the biggest wealth transfers in recorded human history. And Bill de Blasio is absolutely right, but it's not going to help disenfranchised people. It's not going to help fight racism. It's going to, of course, the most powerful institutions in the world, multinational corporations that are enriching themselves more than they have ever been enriched in recorded human history. That is the distribution of wealth that's happening right now because of Bill de Blasio and Goomba Como, as of course they help out the super wealthy billionaire class. When it comes to the secretive bailouts by the U.S. Federal Reserve or just money going to special interests, you are absolutely being bamboozled and robbed right in front of your eyes. If you compare some of this, quote, relief bailout money, specifically the $1,200 that was given to the citizenry earlier this year, when you compare it to the pay of members of Congress, you literally are getting paid 20 cents a day compared to, of course, $475 a day for representatives that are giving themselves paid vacations. And again, that's just absolute chump change, especially when you compare it to Amazon, Walmart, Target, and other big box stores that are making an absolute killing. This issue has been brought to a head by Tulsi Gabbard that recently introduced new legislation that proposes a, quote, 95% tax on corporations' excess profits to ensure that corporations such as Amazon, Walmart, Zoom, and others are not profiting off of economic shutdowns that have helped clear the market of their competition. And that's exactly what's going on here. And even though I don't agree with taxation at all, I believe there shouldn't be any taxes, especially with the way that the U.S. Federal Reserve has been acting, devaluing and hyperinflating our currency very soon. If politicians are going to be shutting down small businesses while allowing the big box stores to be open, you might as well burn it all down, especially with this latest Tulsi Gabbard proposition. Again, the simple solution is to not shut down small businesses and to treat them all equally. Just because some corporations have friends in Congress doesn't mean that they should be allowed to remain open, while, of course, their competition, which is a lot smaller, is just utterly being destroyed by unquestioning thugs called police officers that go around small businesses and arrest owners for doing something that, of course, the big corporations are allowed to. But hey, you'll get $600. That's going to help everything. It's absolutely crazy how YouTubers like Mr. Beast are literally doing more for individuals than, of course, <laughs> your representatives. But on top of all of this, oddly enough, the U.S. president is bragging about this as he's quote taking responsibility for these direct payments to americans which i would say is definitely a little tone deaf to say the least especially since he's supposed to be you know uh, the conservative a republican here that that's not for for giving out money just just printed by the federal reserve but of course he's taking credit for this six hundred dollars as of course it's important to note here that he was also the one that promoted and pushed the idea of giving americans a thousand two hundred dollars and after that second stimulus check he even wanted to give out more money to the general public now maybe this is a wild idea but maybe instead of just giving money to the very powerful, to the special interests, to the corporations, allowing them to play under certain rules that everyone else is not allowed to play under, maybe sliding a few bills on your nightstand like you're some kind of low-class hooker maybe isn't the right thing to do. Maybe understand that the government's job is not to give out money. Because when they do, they of course overwhelmingly protect and make sure the super rich get more than anyone else. Individuals, of course, like Bill Gates, who got $3.36 billion for a foundation which he founded and owns. Yes, Bill Gates led an effort 
that enriched him $3.36 billion for a foundation that he founded and owns. Again, this is the same Bill Gates that 10 years ago said that, of course, he's going to be donating all of his money to charity and then magically doubled his money. The same Bill Gates that talked about how jabs are great investments, has heavily invested in them, and now is getting $3.36 billion of taxpayer money for his company, Gavi. Now, of course, this was talked about by Yahoo Finance, but... Yahoo Finance forgot to tell everyone that this is the foundation that he started and owned. Huh, you'd think that would be an important thing to, to bring up in this article. But nope, Ben Wojciechowski, however the hell you pronounce this boobsicle's name, just very conveniently failed to mention that. Now this addition to the relief bill was proudly added by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, who, of course, enriched their friend, not just to the tune of $4 billion, but funding an organization that will, quote, help the world's poor get jabbed. For, of course, the Conholio sickness, which Gavi, this institution by Bill Gates, has a, quote, whole distribution system in place to get the jab out. Now, Bill Gates' institution, Gavi, proudly proclaims that it has already jabbed 822 million children over, of course, the last two decades. And they, of course, will be doing everything to get the conholio sickness jab out there to the, quote, poorest corners of the globe this coming year. The company already says that they have, quote, 2 billion doses of this conholio sickness jab ready to be rolled out at the beginning of next year and has already privately raised and gained $8.8 .8 billion from other governments for this particular effort. They also announced an additional $2 billion from other countries like France, Spain, the Republic of Korea, and other governments. Now that, of course, is a major freaking deal, especially for a jab that might be irrelevant because of a, quote, new strain of the sickness, which we've been telling you about. And before we jump into this new strain, I, I already forgot to do this. I need to do this more. The work you're seeing right now has been shadow banned and censored before. We're fully demonetized, and it's truly up to you and your donations to keep us up and running and if it wasn't for your donations on wearechange.org forward slash donate with even just five dollars a month which you could very easily do just by clicking this top link here we accept all major credit cards cryptocurrencies venmo cash app physical mail even ways to support us without spending a dime or checking out our affiliate program your support is more needed than ever and i can't thank you enough for doing so and keeping us going. Sorry, that's just something I need to do and I, and I keep forgetting. But if you remember, we've been warning you and telling you for many reasons that you shouldn't put all of your eggs in one basket in hope that this jab is going to solve everything. We, If you remember, one of those reasons was that there could potentially be a mutation of this sickness, making, of course, the current jab totally irrelevant. That's something we've been saying, and now we're getting news from South Africa and the United Kingdom that there is, quote, a new strain of this sickness that is going around. Now, it is important to note here that whenever we do have viral mutations, a sickness does become more infectious and in most instances, less deadly. Now, is that the case here? We still do not know. Since, of course, a lot of this data surrounding this new strain is being hidden from many scientists, especially with many medical professionals now calling to, quote, show us the evidence so they could get some clarity on this claim that there is this new strain of the sickness you would think if you if you discovered something you would widely share it with the scientific community so we could deal with it but that hasn't been happening in the united kingdom and we are still waiting for the evidence to be published about this quote new strain which quote the world is scrambling to isolate from as of course many governments have decided that they will not be flying to the united kingdom we have goomba como literally pleading with the u.s federal government and of course airlines to 
stop flights from the United Kingdom. As of course, we know if there's a new mutant strain, this jab will be absolutely useless as we covered months ago and also just a few days ago before this latest announcement of an Oxford professor coming out and warning of this happening. We literally reported this to you right before it happened days and months ago and, and, and here we are today. Whether this is the truth or not, we still do not know. As of course, a lot of scientists are still waiting for the evidence. As the latest announcement that we got is that the US Army scientists are examining this strain right now as we are speaking. Are these UK government medical professionals telling us the truth? Well, we are going to see in just a few moments. But as we've been saying from the very beginning of this skepticism, self-responsibility is the key when it comes to dealing with all the craziness in 2020, as even the World Health Organization has literally just sent out this major bombshells warning that PCR tests can be inaccurate. Yes, this is from the World Health Organization's own website. YouTube, don't ban me. Here's the official source of them saying it themselves. Questioning, of course, the PCR test, which again, just shows you that uh, you should be questioning everything right now. So yeah, again, this miracle jab, which by the way, the, the creator, the CEO of Pfizer hasn't taken yet. He did also sell a lot of his stocks in Pfizer recently as well. That That's just something to look out for. And once again, as I've been telling you, this miracle jab is not going to solve everything. If we look at overdoses, if we look at the amount of people that have been hurt and impacted by the government, not the sickness, but by the government. It is absolutely astounding. More than ever, we need critical thinking, self-responsibility, and you as an individual standing up for yourself, your rights, your body, your choices. Seriously, guys, more than ever, uh, we need to be the best versions of ourselves. Question everything. Do your own homework. Do your own research. And please make up your own mind. Think independently i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys sharing this video out there which is absolutely crucial and because you guys do that and still donate to keep me here every single day this is why i'm here this is why i love you guys stay tuned for more here on we are change.org